it was extraordinarily difficult to watch. Um, you know, it's, um, it's traumatizing to relive all of, of those moments. That includes watching an Overland Park police officer shoot and kill her son, John Albers. Four years later, Sheila Albers is reliving that pain as her son's story is now gaining national attention. You know, this is a story our I team has been following extensively, and now it's been picked up by the Washington Post in a report just released yesterday. The I team's Caitlin, Caitlin Canute joins us now with more. Caitlin. Yeah, Kevin and Diaz, so this Washington Post article and the accompanying video really walk readers and viewers through exactly what happened the night John Albers died. It also looks at how that police involved shooting was investigated. Now we've reported much of this before, although one element that's new in the Post's report is a 3D scan they spent two months researching and creating. They show that scan to experts who say the police officer was not in harm's way when he fatally shot Albers. What does it mean to you to have his story getting national recognition, getting picked up by an entity like the Post? I, I think it shows um, that what happened the night John was killed was so horrific and so wrong that it's no longer a local story. It is a national story. For those who aren't familiar with the story, John Albers, then 17, was home alone one night when he made suicidal comments online, prompting concerned friends to call police. When officers responded, Albers was starting to back the minivan out of the family's driveway. That's when Officer Clayton Jennison fired 13 shots, killing Albers. Jennison claimed he thought the minivan was accelerating toward him and he feared for his life. The district attorney ruled the shooting was justified. But the family continued to push for answers, questioning Jennison's account and the work of OSIT, the officer-involved shooting investigation team. We now know that these investigations are done entirely too quickly. In Albers' case, the OSIT investigation took six days. That's one of the angles the Washington Post asked experts to weigh in on. It's too rushed. So Tom and Sarah, I have to ask, what drew your attention to this particular story? I mean, you cover the entire country. Why, why the Kansas City suburbs? What was it about this case? This case is the one of the very few cases in the uh, many years that I've been doing this where you can see the police investigation of a police shooting. It's you never see that. You just never see it. They don't release these files. Uh, maybe lawyers see them or maybe cops, but not the public. So thanks to your station, KSHB, filing a lawsuit, uh, that forced Overland Park to release these files. We get to see this inside this investigation, and that's super rare. It's information the Washington Post used to create a 3D scan showing Officer Jennison's position in relation to the minivan. What our team does is we use visual evidence um, to explain complex events, patterns of events, um, explain how news is unfolding. Um, and then what we did is we went out there and we took drone footage. So we were able to um, take images of the area um, and piece that together with the dash cam footage so we could create a 3D model. That's a scan the Washington Post and the Albers family say was not analyzed as part of the OSIT investigation. It's one thing John's mother wants to see change in the future, even if it means reliving the most painful time of her life. Does it get any easier, though, having to talk through the events of what happened, to see those videos? I can only imagine it still has to be hard every time. I mean, no, I, yesterday was really rough. Um, I, uh, no, it does not get any easier. Like I've only watched this video actually twice through completely because it's, it's so difficult to watch. Um, but I, I continue to tell John's story and I continue to point out where we need to make change um, because that's the only way we'll make sure it never happens again. That video, by the way, about 20 minutes. It's a really comprehensive account of what happened. I did reach out to the district attorney late today to get his reaction to that story. So far, I have not heard back. We'll update you if we do hear back from him. Tomorrow, we're also going to take a closer look at that scan we showed you briefly there. We'll have some reaction from the experts the Post interviewed and the additional steps Sheila Albers wants police departments to take to improve transparency. Dia?